In a parliamentary answer, it was revealed this week that the Royal Navy's Wildcat helicopter will not be certified to launch the Sea Venom missile until 2026. Sea Venom has been in development since the late 1990s as the replacement for Sea Skew a light anti-ship missile which was retired in 2017. Sea Venom was supposed to go into service this year but it instead it appears this capability gap will now last almost a decade. The 2020 Defense Equipment Plan said that Sea Venom's initial operating capability would be delayed until 2022 but the Royal Navy announced a pre-IOC version would be deployed with the Carrier Strike Group in 2021 and an interim variant would achieve IOC in 2022, ahead of FOC in 2023. It was also admitted that ongoing integration challenges continue to present time and cost challenges. No images of a Wildcat helicopter carrying the weapon during the 2021 deployment were published and if a live test firing has been conducted by the Royal Navy it has not been made public. The Royal Navy says it has a number of aircrew trained in the operation of the current capability but it will take another three years to train more aircrew, modify aircraft and ships to achieve FOC. Wildcats have been pictured regularly carrying dummy sea venom for flight testing and in the summer of 2022 RFA Argus embarked an aircraft fitted with sensors to define the shipboard helicopter operating limits when fitted with the new weapon wings. This addition considerably affects the aerodynamic profile of the helicopter and the way it handles. Testing also included carrying a mix of martlet and sea venom in various configurations. Sea venom is a high subsonic, light anti-ship missile with a range of more than 20 kilometers and designed to counter small combatants up to the size of corvettes or small frigates. It carries a 30 kg semi-armor piercing fragmentation warhead optimized for attacking ships but can be used to attack small land targets. It was specifically designed for use in complex littoral environments and can be very precisely targeted with a variety of flight profiles and terminal maneuvers. There is a two-way data link for in-flight monitoring and mid-course guidance updates and provides real-time video imagery back to the cockpit. The infrared seeker head has advanced image processing to distinguish between targets and avoid decoys. The weapon is drop-launched and the booster motor does not fire until fully separated from the aircraft. The Wildcat can quickly turn away from the target after launch keeping it away from SAM engagement envelopes.